Stars courtside. Stars playing in this game. Stars everywhere. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Glad you could join us. It's Game 4 of the Western Conference quarterfinals live on 2K Sports. Kevin Harlan here, and I'm joined by Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg with David Aldridge on our sideline. D.A., take it away. Rockets coach Mike D'Antoni is the modern-day godfather of pace and space. His teams in Phoenix popularize small ball, moving around and pushing the tempo in their seven seconds or less offense. It's ironic that now his Houston team plays a much slower isolation style of basketball. But Kevin, that shows his flexibility and D'Antoni's ability to adapt to his personnel. Whatever works, David. Thanks. Here's the starting group for Houston. Tucker and Capella are up front. Westbrook and Harden, the dynamite pair. They're the backcourt. And it's Green in at the small forward position. And for the Jazz, Conley runs the point with Mitchell flanking him. At the forward slots, it's Bogdanovich in Ingle. And it's Gobert in at the five. So the Rockets win the tip. So here's Westbrook. First shot, first pass. He's out of the blocks fast. And the first of many to come. Explosive offensive talent on both sides. Boy, I tell you what, that's going to be like a pinball machine, the way that scoreboard's going to light up. Mitchell's shot is good. Yeah, and Conley just makes the game fun. Able to shoot, but, but focused on also facilitating the teammates. Westbrook picks to green. Just four to shoot. Gobert with the block. Westbrook against Conley. Mitchell in the corner from deep. It's rebounded by Houston. We play just over a minute here in the first. Now Westbrook fires the three. An offensive rebound. Capella with the bucket. Well, Capella's tenacity is so impressive. I mean, he's got an unlimited abundance of energy when it comes to offensive rebound. Now here is Conley. Here's Mitchell. Goes back up. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It's going to be on James Harden. And with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they saved the layup. Old school D right there. Just telling them no easy layups. It's as simple as that. And that's what you expect from them. Shooting two. The first one falls. good on the second so he hits one of two for Houston they've gone two for four from the field so far today and out of bounds as Utah gains possession outside Conley to the middle and it's Mitchell missing no doubt he's struggling right now from the field let's see if he can get it going this court it's good Boy, you can't give Green these lanes. I mean, as soon as he sees a hole in the defense, he'll take advantage. Now here is Conley. And here's Bogdanovich. Another shot. And that's two points on the layup. Boy, you can't give him any room to maneuver on the board because once he does, he's going to make you pay. Outside, Green. To Westbrook. Double team on Westbrook. And there's the whistle. Three second violation. First quarter of basketball, just over two and a half minutes play. Here's Bogdanovich, and Capella sends it back. This is the real strength of Capella's game now. Outstanding at using his length and athleticism to block shots. Green, the pass to West. There's the three. 
The shot comes out. And as you draw the other way, they won their last game. And that was Thursday night. And you know what? It, sometimes it's hard to say whether or not defensively you were on your game. But bottom line is their opponent didn't shoot it well. And you've got to take some of the credit from a defensive standpoint. No question. Whoa! What a finish! Good. Let's go home. That was just <laughs> ridiculous. I do not remember the last time I saw a dunk like that in a game. And guys, it's going to be a long time before we see another one just like that. And now the first time I've called here for the Rockets. Just under three and a half minutes gone here in the first quarter. Gordon inside, defended by Moody. And there's a foul to go on Ed Davis. That's his first foul. That's a two from Gordon. Houston now working with the new shot clock. Three pointer. They grab their own miss. Oh, how about the deft touch right there, guys? He just guided that ball back up and in. Just a fingertip touch on the ball. That's exactly right. No need to catch it when you've got the kind of soft hands that he does. Here's Exum. Nice D from Chandler. And it's Gordon with the ball. He brings it up for Houston. So it looks like the Rockets will retain possession here. And so here is Houston. Four on the clock. From deep three-point range, O'Neal with the rebound. Utah trailing here. The pass to Moody gets the three-point of the fall. Hey, I'm stating the obvious here, but he was very comfortable taking that shot. Not a defender in sight. Here's Rivers, and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. Blatant contact, straightforward call, simple. This is his first free throw of the game. Throw drops for Rivers. The Jazz making a switch here. Go Bears checked in. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Here's Exum. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Oh, the lob to Go Bear. Rebound by House. Yeah, and that was lining up to be a huge alley-oop, but they just couldn't quite connect. And you know, guys, always a tough catch on the lob. Placement and timing have to be close to perfect. Pass to Moutier. Feeds it to Green. Plays it up and banks it in. Yeah, another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively here so far. Rivers dishes to Gordon. All three off the mark. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. Well, I don't think there's any question about it. They came focused and ready to play. I mean, they're doing everything they can to uh, put things in their favor. You earn that, and they're actually earning it well right now. Now, 
here's Moutier. On deep. And the last shot before the buzzer is off. One quarter in the books, and it's been a close one so far. Houston on top. They lead by two. Live from Vivint Smart Home Arena, you're watching 2K Sports. Gets elevated by James Harden to one of the league's powerhouse franchises, and he talks about seizing the moment. This time isn't gonna last long. You know, we have a window, it goes by extremely fast. I cherish these moments, you know, I embrace them. Never a guarantee that the window will remain open. And, and superstar players, let's face it, they're best remembered for their championship. It's all about the rings if you're James Harden. <laughs> We welcome you back to Game 4 on 2K Sports. You guys with the Rockets, what jumps out to you from a number standpoint? You, you got to credit their defense. Communicating, rotating, making plays on the ball. They've got them rattled. It's only the first quarter, and already they've made enough big plays on defense to last really an entire game. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor. All fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. And so in the game for the Jazz... Green plays the four with Gobert at center. Exum is out there with Emmanuel Moutier. And it's O'Neal in at the three, the small forward. The Jazz shooting just 33%, struggling to get good looks. Here's Moutier. A second chance effort. And Gobert kicks to Green. Exum with it. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring hit from him. There's the triple. It's Rivers with the rebound. That's in. He's got two made now, and he's shooting two for three. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. Timeout is called first of the game for the Jans. Trying to find some answers offensively. Yeah, and you know, that's going to be the focus of this timeout. They need to come up with a spark to get the offense going. Joe Ingles, he's checked in for Green. Bogdanovich comes in for O'Neal. Mitchell, he's checked in for Emmanuel Moody. And Mike Conley is subbed in for Dante Exum. Here's Conley. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. Yeah, I love the communication and the chemistry between those teammates. And Westbrook gets it to go. Westbrook's got his second bucket of the night. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now, Greg. They've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. Puts it up from 15, and the jumper is on the mark. Bogdanovich has got his second basket of the game. That's their third straight make off of the six. From deep heart, Rudy Gobert with the rebound. Gobert's got six rebounds in the game. Down low, Ingles lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Ingles has got the lead up to two now for Utah. Westbrook passes to Green. Rebound, Utah. Gobert's got seven rebounds in the game. Wasted no time on that one. And now a four-point Jazz lead. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. Ten straight points off assist. That's very impressive. And it also makes the game easy and fun to watch. And they have certainly been looking locked in offensively. They sure have. Staying aggressive and playing under control. Conley kicks to Bogdanovich. From outside the arc, trains the three-pointer. Bogdanovich has got seven. You know, the second period's been much more kind to him than the first. I mean, let's see if he can keep it going and maintain this. It's Westbrook with the drive. 
The shot drops. His shooting percentage improves. He's three for seven now with that basket. Like how confident Westbrook is close to the rim. Gets high off the ground and releases his shot. Quick. And he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time. The whistle blowing. Yeah, the defender all over. Greg, he got him good there. I mean, that's why the shot was so far off. The Jazz have converted one of two free throws so far today. Shooting two. First free throw is good. And Davis is checked in for Utah. And Mitchell drops them both. It's trailed by seven. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, their offense has ground to a standstill. There's Green with the three. Utah with the rebound. Outside Conley. Pass to Ingles. Back to Mitchell. It's up a three. It's rebounded by Houston. Cabela's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Well, I don't think he's performing up to his own expectations, but they still find themselves out in front. Outside Conley. He kicks it to Mitchell. There's 53 seconds left to play in the first half. They get it back. And here's Conley outside. They get it back. Davis with the bucket. And it seemed like they couldn't get anything to fall in that opening quarter, but you can just feel the momentum starting to shift. Yeah, things are starting to look up. I mean, they're making amends for that slow start. Finding a rhythm right now. The three from Harden. It's good from long range. Harden's got himself on the board with three there. And you know, Kevin, Harden's ball handling is absolutely off the chain insane. I mean, easily carving up the defense. Superb control. Got it on the string. Here's Mitchell. Eight points for him. Shoots over Capella. A putback. Davis on the follow. Davis has got four points now in the quarter. Excellent awareness of where to be on the offensive boards. He did it with great position. And so it's Utah holding on to an eight-point lead heading into the break. They're playing a bruising game inside, and it's working for them. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thank you, Kevin. With Coach Quinn Snyder, Quinn, what has to happen in the second half? Well, we got to keep getting stops and really just make plays. Make plays on the offensive end and, and be solid defensively. No, no magic. It's a pretty simple game, right, Coach? Thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. Okay, David, much appreciated. And now time for halftime. So we'll be back in just a bit to get the third quarter underway. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Well, you will not find an empty seat here tonight. Welcome to our halftime show. Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet, Shaquille O'Neal. You looking for an empty seat? Yeah. You're uh, sitting there. only three of us. Right? And, they're, and the seats are all full. Okay. Oh, you meant in the arena. Ah, uh, that's what I'm talking about. Well, for the Jazz, they put in a great performance so far in game four. The importance of this game and their effort have been very apparent. And if they're able to put another good half of basketball in and take a three games to one lead tonight, they'd be in a nearly unstoppable position to take the series. And Shaq, what did you think about what we saw from Utah? Well, Kenny should appreciate this. I love the ball movement. They were in sync as a unit, and their assist numbers were impressive. Anytime you get five players working together like that instead of one guy doing it alone, it's always going to be a boost. That's the primary reason they're in control of the game. And over to Kenny. What did you think about the Rockets? Well, one problem I see is that they're too timid on the board. When you start to fall behind in the game, you need to become more aggressive on the offensive glass and the defensive glass. And it's just about time now for the third quarter to get underway. And 
we're with you again as our round one coverage continues. And on the floor for Mike D'Antoni starting the second half. Westbrook and Harden, the dynamite pair. They're the backcourt. Tucker and Capella are up front. And it's Green in at the threesome. Gets trailed by eight. Here's Westbrook. Second shot opportunity. Here's Capella. And finally they hit one. Capella's got the first basket of the third quarter for Houston. Conley against Westbrook. 13 feet away, and he hits the jump shot. And the Jazz lead by eight. I tell you what, it's it's almost like stealing to watch how he plays the game from this seat. And they're one of four here to start the second half. Pat Donovich wide open. Off target there, that would have pushed the lead to double digits. Passes it to Harden. Misses off the right eye. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he flips on that. Drains it from beyond the arc. And now an 11-point jazz lead. And this pumps the whole team up. Conley's shooting ability brings energy and excitement. Or three, Westbrook rebounded by Donovan Mitchell. You know, the scoring efficiency has been low, and it's not helping them on the scoreboard. To the inside. And slam dunk by Gobert. And he's a pure point guard with terrific vision. Conley finds open teammates at times before they realize they're open. Green deciding where to go with it. And the officials call him for a three-second violation. <laughs> Costly error there. We'll see how they rebound from that miscue. Well, you know what? Their wounds are self-inflicted. I mean, you've got to play much smarter than that. Looking at who's out there now for the Jazz. Green, he's checked in for Joe Ingles. Royce O'Neal comes in for Bogdanovich. Moutier, he's checked in for Mitchell. And it's Dante Exum in for Mike Conley. Here's McLemore. And nothing is falling for him right now. Utah leading by 13. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Gordon. Davis is checked in for Gobert. Daniel House is checked in for the Rockets. Austin Rivers comes in for Russell Westbrook. Just over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. The pass to Moody. Floats one up, and the layup is up and in. Moutier's got his second bucket tonight. Boy, that was a sweet-looking teardrop. There's very little defense for that. Here's Rivers. And it's Capella missing. Well, you know, this is what happens. You can't afford to lose concentration, even for a nanosecond. Pass to Green. Back to Moutier. Four on the shot clock. Again, the Jazz score. And usually teams go on runs, and it comes from a lot of layups and dunks, but not now. Now a timeout called by Houston. Yeah, things not going their way, and he wants to just try to talk this one over. And you know what, guys? If for nothing else, just to slow things down a little bit, change it up somewhat. Gobert's checked in for Green. Joe Ingles comes in for Royce O'Neal. Donovan Mitchell's checked in for Moutier. And it's Mike Conley in for Exum. Conley against Rivers. He's gone two for two at the line so far. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. A free throw drops for Rivers.
Second free throw, no good. And it's Utah's ball. They're on an 11th to 1 run. Mitchell goes up again, and he lays it up and in. Mitchell's got 12 in the game. And defensively, they're on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness, Greg. I mean, if they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. Finally against Gordon. On the wing, Mitchell. Back to Davis. And it's good. Two points. Davis has got his third bucket of the night. Really, the defense is helpless to stop a layup right there. Just too much of an advantage in terms of the mismatch. Here's Rivers. Shock up two there. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. The drive by Mitchell. Good on the shot. Mitchell's got six points in the quarter. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been off. Clearly just an example of a different mindset between these teams. Just his first attempt. The shot by House is no good. Fires for three. Kept alive. Davis. It's deflected. Stolen by Conley. And now here comes Conley leading the break. Yep, that one goes in there. He's got seven. Fellow Buckeye Mike Conley, one of the outstanding point guards in the league. His defensive prowess, superb. He's not afraid to go after steals, and he usually gets his share. Rivers passes to Gordon. Floats one. Utah with the rebound. Davis has got seven rebounds in the game. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Yeah, double-digit advantage on the scoreboard. They've taken the initiative. They've played, I think, with more purpose so far. Here's Mitchell. Offline. Nice attention to detail on defense. Harden showing he wants to improve on this end of the court. And so it's Utah cruising into the quarter break with a 22-point lead. And against one of the toughest offensive players in the league, they've been doing a great job shutting down James Harden. We've got more in store for you right after this. And now let's go back to a play from earlier as we show you our State Farm assist of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Yeah, and with the accuracy to go along with that vision. I mean, he put the ball in the absolute perfect spot. That's how you orchestrate it. Well, it doesn't get much better than playoff basketball. Let's get back to the action here in round one. Conley and Mitchell, the talented backcourt pair. Gobert is out there with Davis, and it's Bogdanovich in at the three spot. That's the five on the floor for the Jazz. Pass to Gobert. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. Houston making a switch here. Capella's checked in. And that one misses. The Rockets shooting only 32% from the field. Plenty of signs of struggle by this offense today. They get the rebound. And a good offensive board. And he gets the bucket. Well, you know, the closer Capella is to the rim, the more effective he becomes, in my opinion. In part because of his size and nice touch. Mitchell finds Gobert. Here's Conley, guarded by Hart. Clock at four. Trying to get open is Davis. Bogdanovich, no luck. Houston's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It's going to be on Rudy Gobert. And, you know, after being a sixth man during the beginning of his career, Harden has blossomed into a big-time star. He's a top-tier combo break, guard in this break. league now. Two shots. Oh. 
Free throw drops for Harden. And both free throws good for James Hart. Utah leading by 20. Conley left side. Sweet little floater. Got to admire how clever Conley is. Gifted at catching the defense off guard with that soft load. And so it's Harden bringing it up for the Houston Rockets. From deep. Rudy Gobert with the rebound. Gobert's got 11 rebounds in the game. Mitchell. That ball. Nice feed that time from Bogdanovich. 16 points for Donovan Mitchell. That's the 10th straight point they've given up in the paint. And you know, it doesn't matter how good your defense is on the perimeter if you're going to allow easy ones inside like that. Westbrook scanning the floor. Just five to shoot. Three-pointer. The Rockets again can't hit. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. And it's been a well-rounded performance. I mean, strong rebound has certainly been at, been at the at the center of it, but it's been good on a number of levels. For three, rebounded by Donovan Mitchell. Mitchell's got four rebounds now tonight. Boy, you can see his struggles from the field, and I think it's really starting to get to him. From deep green, Rudy Gobert with the rebound. For Utah, they've gotten four of their six shots to fall so far here in the fourth. A pretty nice efficiency there. And he comes up with the deuce. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. Or three, Westbrook rebounded by the Jazz. Boy, this is um, bad. Tough to watch. I mean, this is really bad. He's stone cold this court. Man. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Westbrook against Conley. Mitchell gets to Conley. To the paint. Here's Gobert. And a missed late. The Rockets shooting just 29% in this game. They are not a pretty side out there offensively. And that one's good. Westbrook. Whether he's attacking the basket or squaring up from long range, Westbrook is always dangerous. Conley dishes to Gobert. Back to Conley. Passes it to Mitchell. Bogdanovich against Green. The Jazz again can't hit it. Bogdanovich has gone three of nine shooting. Whistle blows. Yep, that's going to be a travel. Jazz ball. Houston, a whole new five on the floor. Jazz have gone five of ten, 50 percent from the field. And entering the final countdown, game four effectively decided here, guys. This is just a tremendous accomplishment for the Jazz. This was a team performing to its uh, fullest capability. Uh, a, a hugely satisfying win. A, a, a game that not many will soon forget. And on the other side, one that I think most will try to forget. And a great team effort tonight, helped in large part with contributions, and the nice night it ended up being for Rudy Gobert. He did all the dirty work that they needed, clearing out space underneath and securing rebounds. Kicks it to Moody from deep three-point range, and it's Rivers with the rebound. Oh, man, you know he'd love to have that one over. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. Yeah, just solid work on the back end of that play. Yep, you're right. Finish hard with two hands on that stuff. Yeah, highly efficient. Nothing extra special there. Just effective. Moutier. Stolen. And here we go. Fast break. McLemore's got it. Davis, the pass to Hartenstein. 
and so it's Utah easily grabbing the win. And now they're sitting on a commanding three games to one lead. They've grabbed this series by the throat, Greg. And, and, and Kevin, I don't think they're going to let it go. You could see the determination they had tonight. They don't want to drag this series out. They want to get this thing over with. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thank you very much, Rudy. A big win in front of the home crowd. How did that feel? Uh, great. You know, the fans were great. We shared the ball. We played better defense in the second half. And uh, it's great to win for us and for our fans. Always been one of the best crowds in the league. Thanks, Rudy. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. Well, that'll do it for now. Glad you could join us for the first round of the Western Conference playoffs. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Olden, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. So long and good night, everyone.